Hi, Rafi Khan here to show you KBAR 3.0 for Adobe After Effects, available at ascripts.com. KBAR is a tool launcher that brings the stuff you use the most close by for fast, convenient access. After installing KBAR, find it by going to Windows and then Extensions. You'll see four menu items for KBAR. Each one opens up a single toolbar panel that you can customize and use. When you open a toolbar, there will be some sample buttons to get started. To customize them, just go to Settings or click the gear icon. From here, you can customize everything. You can drag and drop to reorder buttons. You can even reorder the toolbars and the menu items. If you want to save space, you can combine buttons with keyboard modifiers. For example, I use Key Cloner, but I mostly use Clone in the other slice. I want to keep the other buttons nearby, but wish they didn't take up so much space. To solve this, I can combine the buttons with modifiers like Shift and Control. Now, when I hold those keys down, I can click the same button and have it run those commands. If you have a lot of scripts sitting in a folder somewhere, KBAR makes it easy to bring them in with a single click. Here I have a folder with a bunch of random scripts I wrote. When KBAR goes to this directory, it'll create a toolbar for each folder it finds. It'll automatically pick up scripts, presets, and shell commands, but skip over anything that it doesn't recognize, like a text file. If there's a PNG or SVG icon with the exact same name, it'll automatically pick that up as the icon. If you want to share your toolbars with others, KBAR lets you do that with a simple export and import. You can do that by tapping the Edit button on a toolbar for export, or using the drop-down in Add Toolbar. When exporting, you can optionally bake the assets in and include notes for anyone to see during import. Here's what it looks like on the other side. To put something in your toolbar, click Add button and pick from the menu of button types. You can pick from Effects, Presets, Expressions, Menu Items, Extensions, Scripts, Scriptlets, and Running Shell Commands. Let me show you how to make a menu button. To invoke a menu, you need to know the exact spelling and capitalization for it. To make this easier, KBAR comes with a pre-built list of a lot of the common menus that are in the app. If what you're looking for isn't in the list, you can type it exactly as you see it in After Effects. Oh, and for you advanced users out there, you can type in the command ID directly. To customize the look of a button, click Icon. From here, you can use the Icon Designer to customize its look and feel. You can pick from a text label, a font icon, or a custom PNG. I'll go with the colorful icon. That's it for the tutorial. Hope you enjoy KBAR.